Good morning. Today I'd like to talk about mental health and mental health awareness. So many of us are suffering from mental health issues and we don't even realise. So what is mental health and why should we be aware of it? So mental health is the state of well-being, how we cope with stress in our life and what we do to overcome that and make ourselves feel better. So our mental health is just as important to look after as our physical health. Uh, many of us prioritise our physical health and forget about our mental health. So know that if you are suffering right now from mental health issues, that it's okay, you're not alone, you deserve compassion and you deserve love and you deserve understanding. And know that there are techniques and strategies out there to help you through this to recovery. It's really, really important for us to realise that we are not alone and there is help out there. Sometimes we just need to reach out and ask. Um, some of us are more vulnerable than others. Some of us have mental health history in our families and we could look at our environmental factors as well. So looking at where I'm living right now, we've just gone through two floods. Many people have lost everything. They've lost their home. They are going through the worst time and it's, it's heartbreaking. I, I feel other people's emotions and it's heartbreaking and I've let that get me down and I can't help other people if I'm down. So I've realised what's been happening and I'm, you know, in the process of picking myself up. But the beautiful thing is, and the thing that I'd like you to know is if you're suffering from mental health issues right now, there are things that you can do to help yourself. And once you know those tools, you can use them to pick you up again in the future. So I want to, at the end of this video, give you some of the things that I've done to help myself, to pick myself up again. Um, so if you are feeling excess anger or rage right now, or you're really suffering from anxiety and that anxiety could be leading to panic attacks, or you have a mood disorder like depression, these are all signs that you your mental health isn't so good right now. You may also be using drugs or alcohol or food to make yourself feel better because you don't want to deal with whatever's going on. So also these are mental health issues too. So there, there's many things that you can do to start helping yourself. And I know that for myself, I've had severe depression in the past. And I remember if I tap into that energy of that and everything was black around me and I couldn't see a way out. I couldn't see, I didn't feel worthy. I didn't have any self-esteem and I didn't think anyone would understand me or anyone could help me. And it was a very, very dark time in my life. And I actually thought that I, I should end my life because nobody really cared. And so the beautiful thing about that is I didn't end my life and now I can help other people go through what they're going through because I've experienced it myself and I know I have a strategy to get out of it and because I've been helping people in my local community and I can feel my energy dropping again I now know I have to not stop helping people but I have to clear my head I have to look after my mental health and put some of these strategies in place for me before I can go back and tap into helping other people so here are 10 tips that I use and have used in the past and still use now that have helped me to clear my mental health. So the first thing would be to reach out to a friend or somebody in your community that may be going through the same thing as you. So right now in Lismore, just up the road from me in Australia, they've had two floods. The whole community has gone through trauma. And so talking to each other about this can help. That cathartic experience of talking about your emotions and how you're feeling is so, so important to get that out of us because we can hold on to our emotions and our feelings but when we actually get out of us and maybe we realise that somebody else has experienced the same thing, it, it, it gives us a sense of relief. Obviously, we need to do more than that, but this is a really good first step. 
If you don't feel that you have friends or community around you and you don't feel like opening up, go and find a professional. You could find a psychologist or psychiatrist, um, a counsellor or a practitioner who works with mental health. I have helped so many people through mental health issues over the years. So if you like my energy, you think I can help you, please reach out to me. If you don't like my energy and you'd like to go somewhere else, then please do that. But please, whoever it is, find a professional that can help you. There's, there's so many ways, you know, you can go to a traditional therapist who will sit and talk and listen to your story and that will be enough for you. With me and my clients, I delve into the emotions that they're feeling, find out what the emotions is what 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 the emotions are telling us and clear those emotions in our body because when we can clear the emotions in our body we can understand what those emotions are telling us we can actually then move on so there's different ways of therapy that can help you but just find the one that will resonate with you um look out for the early warning signs so if you're going through this right now and you don't really know what's going on, get on Google, do some research, get onto my website, Global Healing Exchange. We have magazines on anxiety. We have magazines on depression. There's a lot of information out there that you can read through and you might be able to recognize something in yourself that other people have been through. So once you can spot the early warning signs, then you can put these strategies that I'm gonna talk about in place. So this is what I do and it's, it really, really works for me. Um, also, you can track your moods. You can get a little journal, see where your moods are each day and then think about what are you thinking to yourself? What words are you saying to yourself? Because the words that we're saying to ourselves are really important. And what is the environment around us? Is it a nurturing environment that makes us feel good? Or is it an environment that is tearing us down, making us feel bad? Because maybe we need to move away from that environment while we're healing. And then when we feel stronger, we might be able to go back into that. Or we might realise that that was not, never a good environment for us. Um, build your self-esteem. I know for me, when I have been feeling really low in the past, I, I felt so unworthy and I didn't think I was worth living. My life was worth living. And so what helps me to build my self-esteem is helping other people. I love to help other people. And the fact that I've been helping other people through this has really helped pick me up as well. So even though, you know, I, I have to... Stay away sometimes when I realise that I'm maybe helping a little bit too much and giving too much of myself. There's the fine balance that I've learned where I can help people, but I, I need to step away sometimes to help myself. So we learn a strategy that works for us. My strategy won't necessarily be your strategy. But once you have these tools, you can start adding it into your life and, and putting it as part of your journey. So obviously eating well, eating good nutritious food is really, really important. Get in exercise. I know that if you're feeling like this, you might feel very lethargic. Get in exercise or doing exercise gives you energy. So make sure you get some exercise each day. Make sure you get lots of sleep. It's really, really important when our brain, when we're in sleep, our brain switches off and it gives us some recovery time. So sleep is really, really important. Um, if you find that you can't sleep naturally, I take melatonin, it really, really helps. Or lavender essential oils are very good. So there's many tools that you can use to help you do these things as well if you're not finding it easy to sleep. Really important to avoid drugs and alcohol at this time because they're depressants. So we, we, do, we have them because we want to feel better in the moment, but after that moment has gone, then we feel low again. So avoid alcohol and drugs as much as possible and the 10th tip is do things that make you happy what is the thing in your life right now that will make you happy and go and do that so i hope that helps these these all seem very superficial things to do but they're very very powerful if you can do one of these things master that it might just be eating well for a week and then take on another thing. It might just be reaching out to somebody. Like, I think reaching out to somebody is the most important thing we can do when we feel like this. 
So I, I really hope that helps. If you really need my help, please reach out to me. I'm more than happy to help you through your journey. Let's deal with those emotions. Let's talk about what's going on for you and find a strategy that's going to work for you right now. So thank you so much for being here and I will see you next time. Goodbye for now.